Good morning, everyone. I pray that you know that the Father is with you no matter what's going on in your life today. I know as we wind down this year, as we look into the next year, we often wonder, is God with us? A thousand years ago, I was flying home on an airplane from California back to Ohio. I think I was 17, 18. Had a wonderful experience with God. And I'm coming home and I'm wondering, God, are you going to meet me there? God, are you going to be with me? And this name came to mind, Emmanuel. I'm talking with two other folk on the plane with me about my experience, and one is saying, well, I wish I knew God that way. I said, well, you can. You know, he's Emmanuel. Well, what does that mean? It means that God is with you, that God has visited, that God has stayed, God is there. Fast forward. 20 year plus years, I'm speaking at camp. And this particular camp, there were a bunch of rough kids. There were gang kids from LA and different parts of the state and Arizona. And, and they, 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 several of them became Christians. It was fun to watch these kids say, hey, if you're ever in my territory and you came to camp, just flash this sign. And they figured out how to do what the, our ancients did, they would do the ichthus with their fingers, their thumb and a finger, and then, then the three, the Holy Trinity and Jesus. I'm like, that, that was cool. This one young man would not leave camp. He and I sat there, held up his bus, I think, for half hour, maybe an hour. The kids on the bus want to go home. You know, camp is over. Let's go home. He had one question. Is Jesus going to be at home with me. I am afraid. I don't know what I face when I get there, but I want Jesus to be with me. And so we kept talking about God with you, God with us, Emmanuel. What did that mean in his life? So I related to him my story that when you go home, God is there. And I've taken many young people home from camp and tell them, you walk in the house, you're not walking in the house alone. God is with you. Here's how you make sure God is with you. So we teach them good spiritual disciplines, how to pray, how to be in the Word, how to surround themselves with people who would pray for them and encourage them. God with us. God speaking into our lives. God says, I am with you. And as we look at 2022, we wonder, God, are you with me? Are you going to be there with me? And God says, yes, I am. God, it was hard in 21. Yes, but God says, I was with you. God, there was calamity in 21. Yes, I was there. God, you don't remember 2020, do you? We were frightened out of our wits. And God says, yes, I was there. I am with you. I want you to know that I am Emmanuel, God with you. David helps us here in Psalm 139. If I go to heaven, behold, you are there. If I go to the depths of the sea, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I go to the far farthest parts of the earth, you are there. Why? Because he is Emmanuel with us. So whatever you think you're facing in 2022, Remember, God is there with you. He already knows. Rely on Him. He is with you. As a kid, I lived right across the street from my elementary school. Less than 20 yards. And like most young people, I was afraid to go to school those first couple of days. But my mom would always walk me across the street, walk me up to Mrs. Blandon. Mrs. Blandon, here's Gerald. Wave at me. I look with this fear in my eyes, look at my friends, and go, okay, I'm okay. But I knew that if I got in trouble and worried, I can look directly out the window across the street and see my house because my mom was there. Often I would do that. 
because she was there. In our hearts, our minds, our souls, we have that same confidence with the Father that He is there. He is Emmanuel, God with us. I'm going to read for you something by Charles Spurgeon. It's simply called God with us. Because as we look at 2022, we need to be reminded that God is with us. Bear with me as I read it to you. Hopefully the Lord will bless you. God with us by Charles Spurgeon. 1854. Oh, may God teach you the meaning of the name Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel. It is wisdom's mystery, God with us. Sages look at it and wonder. Angels desire to see it. The plumb line of reason cannot reach halfway into its depths. The ingle's wings of science cannot fly so high. And the piercing eye of the vulture of research cannot see it. God with us. It's hell's terror. Satan trembles at the sound of it. His legions fly space. The black-winged dragon of the pit coils before it. Let Satan come to you suddenly, and you have but to whisper the word God with us. And back he folds, confounded and confused. Satan trembles when he hears that name, God with us. It is the laborer's strength. How could he preach the gospel? How could he bend his knees in prayer? How could the missionary go to foreign lands? How could the martyr stand at the stake? How could the confessor acknowledge his master? How could men labor if that one word were taken away? God with us. God with us is a sufferer's comfort. It is the balm of his woe. It is the alleviation of his misery. It is the sleep that God gives to his beloved. It is the rest after exertion and toil. God with us. It is eternity's sonnet. It is heaven's hallelujah. It is the shout of the glorified. It is the song of the redeemed. It is the chorus of the angels. It is the everlasting oratory of the great orchestra in the sky. What is it? It is simply this. God with us. Remember, God is with you today and will be with you tomorrow, and will be with you each step of the journey as we journey into 2022. Precious Lord, thank you again for the reminder of your Son Jesus, God with us, Emmanuel. Lord, thank you for the ways you encourage us. Lord, help us to remember that you are with us in everything we do. Because no matter where we go, you are there. No matter what we feel, you are there. No matter what we think, you are there. Jesus, thank you for being with us in 2020, 2021. Thank you for guiding us and being with us as we enter 2022. In your name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, dear friends.